I'm going to look now at analysis of variance when we've got uh, more than one categorical variable that we're interested in. So in the one-way analysis of variance I looked to see if there was a difference in selling price over the different regions and now I'm interested to see is there also a difference in selling price uh, where, depending on whether or not there is a pool accounting for the fact that we've already looked at region and whether there's any interaction between pool and region. So if we look at lots of different one-way ANOVAs it means we're not accounting for the other variables in the model. If we look at them both together we can see what effect they're both having. Now there's a couple of graphs that we might like to look at with this and we can go down to some main effects and interactions effects. So main effects is what we think the effect is by themselves. So we're looking at selling price and we're interested in pool and region. So we've got a plot here for pool and a plot here for region and we've got some average selling prices. The line across the middle is the overall average. So if I just calculate the average selling price for the entire data set, it's $172,000. Um, and obviously we're going to have some that are above average and some that are below average because the average is in the middle. Now with pools we find that the houses with a pool have a higher average selling price than the houses without a pool and that's probably not a surprise and with the regions we find that regions 1, 2 and 4 are all uh, above average and regions 3 is is way below average, much cheaper than the others and when we did the analysis of variance just looking at regions it said that this difference was significant but there, uh, there were a few problems with our assumptions of equal variances and normality. We're not going to look at that for the moment, we're just going to look at how we do the multiple uh, analysis of variance. So what happens when we include pool in the model? Do we still see the differences in the regions? And is there any interaction between pool and region? Now we can bring up a plot for interaction, the interactions plot, selling price, the factors, the variables that we're interested in are pool and region. Now we have the regions along the bottom here, 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have the average selling prices along the y-axis and we have two lines here. The black one is for the houses that don't have a pool and the red one is the houses that do. So in region 1 we find that houses without a pool have an average selling price of about $170,000. Oh, this just popped up, 169 But the houses with a pool had an average selling price of $194,000. We have a similar thing here in Region 2 where the houses with a pool have an average selling price, higher average selling price than the houses without a pool. And the same over in Region 4 where the houses with a pool have a higher average selling price than the houses without a pool. But in Region 3, our oddball, we find that for some reason the houses with a pool actually have a lower selling price on average than the houses without a pool. That's very interesting. So because the pool is having a different effect in Region 3 than it's having in these other regions, instead of increasing the, the average selling price, it's actually lowering the selling price. This is what we would call an interaction. So from the graph here, it looks like there is an interaction between whether or not you have a pool and the region that you live in and the effect that that has on the selling price. So this is what it looks like from the graph and with our analysis of variance we can test to see whether this interaction is actually statistically significant. It may just be due to random variation in the data and we may not be able to say that we, we truly believe that there is a difference there. Now the way we're going to do our analysis of variance when we've got more than one variable, there are a lot of options here, just to keep things simple we're going to do them all with the general linear model. Our response is selling price and where model are the variables that we're interested in. We're interested in region, we're interested in pool, and we're interested in the interaction between region and pool. And the way we put that into Minitab is region star pool. And you actually can bring up those plots under here under factor plots. You can say that you want your main effects plot and your interactions plot. The only difference here is I'll, I'll put them in um, it does them all together and they just come out a lot smaller, that's all. So I'll put them in. Okay. I, oh no, it hasn't. It's brought them up separately, but if you have a lot of variables, it tiles them all together and they're quite small. So these are the same plots we've already seen. 
let's go up to the general linear model. Now here, with the one-way ANOVA, we had one p-value and one hypothesis that we were testing, that there was a difference between the regions. Now we've got three p-values and three hypotheses that we're testing. So with the, for the first line, we're testing to see, is there a difference between the regions given that we've accounted for pool and the interaction in the model? Then the second line is testing, is there a difference between uh, the average selling prices of houses with a pool given that we've accounted for region and the interaction in the model? And then the third line is, uh, the null hypothesis is that there is no interaction between region and pool given that these two are in the model. Now our p-values, we have a p-value of 0.012 for regions, which is fairly low. So there's reasonable evidence there to suggest that there is a difference between regions when we've accounted for the pools. However, the, the p-value for the pools is actually quite high, 0.36. So even though our main effects plot showed that there was a difference here between the houses with a pool and the houses without a pool, that effect is not showing up as statistically significant. So that just may be due to random variation, even though we've accounted for the differences in region. And the interaction effect that looks so interesting in the plot has actually come up as non-significant. That's a really high p-value. So there is absolutely no evidence uh, to reject the null hypothesis that there is no interaction. So if there is some interaction going on there between region and pool, we would have to do a whole lot more investigation to find it. Probably a bigger data set uh, and maybe we'd need to design it more carefully. But even though it looks like there is an interaction going on there, that hasn't shown up as being statistically significant. If we look down here to the R squared, we'll see we're still not explaining very much variation in the data at all. So whatever is going on here, we're not explaining it. And we do have a whole lot of unusual observations, which is actually not that unusual in real estate. The ones with the X's um, are the ones to watch out for. So if we were really wanting to find out what was going on, we might take a look at these ones with the X values, see if there was something different about them, what would happen if we took those out temporarily, would that change our results?